everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm reviewing the Transformers Bumblebee movie, Sojo Series 81 Wheeljack. So let's get into the episode. <laughs> Just like Ratchet, Ratchet was a very good figure, but now I have Wheeljack. And uh, Wheeljack is flopping around the box because I removed those uh, things that strap him in. So uh, yeah, let's just get into the unboxing. You've got Wheeljack, looking very nice, very cool. Really like his look. Doesn't have a turtle back. Look at that. Does not have a turtle back, just like Ratchet. Cool. Just remove that. Yeah, you've got box, just cardboard. And you still get the uh, backdrop, which is in there. So yeah, very cool. Let's put that on the side. And there you go, here you have Wheeljack's weapon with him. And yep, that's basically it for the unboxing. Now let's get into the other angle. So here we have, figure, uh, here we have the figure right here. It looks very nice, very cool. I love this model. Really does look like the G1. Look at that head sculpt. Camera focus. Okay, seriously. Focus. Okay, now the camera focused. The edge sculpt actually looks very nice. I really do love it. The figure looks very cool. Not much detail, although, but the model is amazing. You've got the chest. Looks very cool. You have the automatic insignia right here. The legs are very bulky, but yeah, they're fine. Yeah. The hands, they look cool, but they don't have as much, a lot of details. The back, and the back looks fine. Yeah, there's no turtle back, which is actually a very, very good thing. Finally, no more turtle backs on my figures. Let's go. So yeah, the leg is still bulky from the back. Got the other side of the hand, yep, looks very nice. That's basically it about the figure. The figure overall looks nice. Now we're gonna talk weapon-wise. And he does the splits. Okay. Now you've got his blaster. Right here. It looks very similar to Ratchet's blaster, but he but Ratchet has some pieces that are different. Like uh, how he holds it on the back. Yeah. It's very cool. The weapon isn't that painted well. It's all just gray. But honestly, it's just a... It's fine. It looks fine. Yeah, not bad. Now, now you just put it on his hand. Oh yeah, storage space, right? So you have this little tab here on the back. What you do is just put this right here. And yep, that is storage for the weapon. And let's just zoom out. That's basically it about the figure. Now let's get into transformation. Now before the transformation, Weapon is in my pocket. Stay there. Okay, now before transformation, of course, what we're going to do is measuring how tall he is. So, from the bottom to the top of the head, he's around 12 and a half centimeters tall or 5 inches. So, yep, that's basically it for the height of Wheeljack. Goodbye, Mr. Measuring Tape. We'll use you later. Now, let's just get into transformation. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Transformation. Let's do this very delicately. So, let's turn this piece around, which is the knee joint. I mean, what, knee protection piece? What you do is just then push the foot forward. Just to reveal the front of the vehicle. Let's just connect this. I really do love this figure because they literally made an, a new design for the vehicle mode that, because they didn't plan them to transform in the movie. So they made these designs just for these figures, which I find is actually a very awesome. Yeah, this Wheeljack has the coolest vehicle mode to ever exist. Best one. Best one. Push this 
in. Okay, about that, and then we turn the waist around. The wood. Oh, wait, wait. Let's put this up. We can get out of the way. Okay, that now. Now the, uh, the front or the roof. Like the windscreen that is there. So, yeah, you got that right there. Then you pull the Autobot insignia so we can do this. So, uh, yeah. Do just disconnect. Put Little Jack's head all around. Turn it like so. And we'll keep it for later. I just push this, these two pieces together. Like so. Ta da! You've got that, then you've got the roof piece. You just connect. Just, just put a lot of force on it. Okay, you've got that right there. My the camera focus. You've got that. Then you put the hat all the way there. Turn the little piece right here. So we just turn the entire hand around. Okay, all right. The head, you just push it in like so. Now, same thing to the other side of the... Same to the other side for the hands. Turn it around. This piece under. This into each other. Okay, so after fixing that, what you do is just put the wings backward like so. And ta-da, you have Wheeljack in his vehicle mode. It's very nice. I do love it. I love it. It looks futuristic. It looks fast. It looks aggressive. Yeah. I love the vehicle mode of the figure. It looks very nice. Best Street Series figure I have ever had. This wheeljack, best. One of my top ten. Now, vehicle mode, he uh, looks aggressive. You've got the headlights right here. Very cool. Uh, you got the windscreen, very long. It looks like a teardrop, so more aerodynamics. Looks very cool. The wheels look also nice. Yeah, the paint scheme is amazing. I love how the wings are separate. It's actually very cool. I really do love this. Yeah, the, the vehicle mode is nice. The, the back, yeah, it's pretty flat. Now, weapon storage. Just get it out of my pocket. Here go, here's the uh, weapon. What you do is just, you see this piece right here? Connects right here. So. Yep, yeah, okay, like so. Ta-da, now he can shoot Decepticons while I'm running away from them. Yeah, very cool. Really do love this wheeljack figure. Now we're going to end the episode, so I'm going to get back behind the table. This figure is really good. Very good figure. I really do. I, I love his robot design. I love his vehicle mode. They literally made this out of scratch just for this figure. Really, I think you should buy. Because this is very neat, very nice, and yeah. Hopefully, you guys found this review hopeful, uh, use, useful. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know whenever I make an episode. See you guys next time. Peace out. Don't forget to stay safe and get this figure. Bye.